Hello and welcome back to SnowRunner, I'm MJ Haggis and we're in Scandinavia on Season 11. Now we're still in the Freightliner only because I want to open up another task that's nearby. It's actually through that rock clearance that we've just done. So I'm going to show you the map. And it's just here, shoring up losses. So get in there, activate that, see what that's about. Now, while we're here on the map, I was given tips in the comments. So thank you to... I believe it would be John, just me, Michael, all suggesting using this ski slope as a shortcut and an easier way all the way up to the top at the cabin zone. So thank you guys, much appreciated. Um, now the question is, do I need to fit chains for that? I believe chains might be wise, so we'll, we'll probably do that just in case. So that's a nice wee shortcut. Well, I say shortcut, it's still quite a long way up the hill. I just, uh, yeah, knowing my luck, I'll probably roll all the way back down again. But we'll give it a go. Nice one. Another one that was given to me, so credits to Mario, uh, and that's through in the other map. When we were up in this corner near this wooden bridge, and I was doing that route around with the Falcon, I ended up, I think one up here and one here, where you can see the mouse going around, was blue boxes that I just happened to drive through. And I was advised that that is for the con sorry the task a lost car, and it's for the Hummer by the lake, is the map, and we still have our Falcon here, and I'm going to just do that. So let's just jump into. In fact, let's start where I went in the other map, in the Freightliner. We're going to quickly do that, and then we're going to jump in back into by the lake into the Falcon and do a lost car. Hopefully, that's the plan. So, uh, time of day, yeah, it's nice and bright in the morning. Let's get him on the move. Whoop, sorry signs, sorry, yeah, sorry. Yeah, didn't see you there. Yeah, I'll remember next time. Oops, somebody will fix them. Okay, nice. Unfortunately, nobody will clear that rubble from the road. That's going to stay there. Right, what have we got in this little place? Not been here before. Not going to pronounce that. What have we got? Shoring up losses. We've lost some essential equipment during shipping. The trailer is still by the river. Could you get it back for us? Yes. Is that it? Quickly activate that. Service spare parts, sideboard trailer. The ski lodge. Okay. Engine's going off. Quick check of the map. There's a sideboard trailer. Oh, that's that one down there. It's kind of hidden. We've seen it. But it's still an area I haven't really been into, obviously, because it's still darkened. But that's got to go to the ski lodge. How far up the hill? Oh, the ski lodge is at the bottom of the hill. Okay, that's nice. So that's there. And then service spare parts. Okay, where are the service spare parts? Don't know where they are. Are they just something we have to go and get? They're not, like, dropped somewhere. I don't see any service spare parts just lying about on the map. So maybe we have to go and fetch them. But it doesn't appear to be on this map. Okay, there's no up arrows. That's that one. So, okay, well, that's fine. We can worry about that later. Stop tracking that. Let's go now. I'll leave the Freightliner just where it is. Just because, well, it's in the middle of the map. You never know if you're going to need something like that. I can see cellulose and stuff down here. And there might be a way down. So we'll just leave the, the little Freightliner up there. Global maps, back to by the lake, and we're going to jump into our Falcon, which we handily left right there. Right, Falcon, how are you feeling? Oh, you need some fuel to start with, but we're going right back up that hill. And it's not for a traffic accident, that's the wrong one, let's get that corrected. A lost car, start tracking that, so that's where it's got to go. 
back down the hill where are we so it's basically yeah okay not too bad we'll set a route if we find the hummer so the hummer is back up the hill I mean, it, I'm not sure why the boxes, the blue boxes that we drove into before were necessary unless the Hummer appears once you've covered the other two. I might have messed up that kind of task a little bit by preemptively going in those boxes, but it would appear that we know exactly where the Hummer is. So it's not lost at all. It's right there. Right, let's uh, top up with fuel. How much have got? 100? Yeah, I'm hoping that's going to be enough. 25 spare. Right, let's go. Didn't quite expect to be going back up here so soon. And not in the Falcon. That's quite nice. Tell you what, guys, I'm glad you're coming along in the journey with me. You have given me some seriously good tips over the, the last... Well, since I started, really. Who needs Google and Reddit and all the rest of the search things? No, I just have you guys telling me. What's lottery numbers? Ah, okay. Right, almost there. It's a beautiful day for a little Hummer rescue. There it is there. Tell you what, you could drive past that. If it wasn't got a yellow box on, you could easily miss that. And I probably did. I know I did. Hey, let's get turned. Looks like he's coming out in reverse. Can I reach from here? That would be nice if I could. Let's get it into a low ratio to begin with. Yeah, okay, let's... Yeah, let's go with the highest one up. Oh. Don't you hate it when it does that? You think you're close enough, but you're not quite. How about now? Yeah, oh, okay. That was badly placed. Let's... Oh, come on, Hummer. Oh, don't... Oh, whoop. Is he, I'm coming now? He was kind of... Oh, he is still kind of stuck. Right. There we go. Oh, no, no. That was about to pull me over. Let's re-angle the Falcon, I think. That's a bit smoother roads. Let's go... Struggling. Come on. Hey, don't hit the rocks, Hummer. Don't hit the rocks. Yeah, let's see if we can put his engine on. Clearly. Oh, he's out of fuel. Well, we've got 25 litres we can give you. But here he comes. Here he comes. Arr, heave round the corner. Oh, he's stuck on two rocks. Climb over them, Hummer. Come on. Don't be awkward. Okay, you're going to be awkward, aren't you? You could run at it. Come on. There we go. Now, question is, how badly damaged is he? Oh, deflock, deflock, deflock. Let's stick a little bit of fuel on and see if his engine will start. Well, that's all you're getting. Engine on. Oh, okay. The engine's not damaged. Good. Here he comes. Maybe I should turn him. I'll turn him around on the main road. Oh. Okay, why aren't, why aren't you coming now? Come on. Okay, that was a bit strange because when I tried to pull him there, it was like he was had his handbrake on. Now that's. Really? Are you tired? Do you want to be lie down? Oh, okay. I'm glad that tree's up. Ah, 
Okay, that get off that road there. Or that banking. Let's try that again. Right, if I start his engine, is he gonna stop me pulling? Yeah, he is. Look, his back wheels are locking up. He's trying to drive the other way. Is that a bug? Because that, to me, is a bug. It never used to do that a long time ago. If you, he was facing the wrong way and you were driving, he would just go into reverse naturally. Let's put his engine back off. See? And it takes a strain off the, the winch. Okay. Downhill. We'll make it to the main road and then we'll turn him around. certainly been more stingy with the rescued vehicles in this region. They don't want to give them away at all. I mean, okay, a Hummer's not hugely valuable, but you know, it's nice to get a little reward of a vehicle occasionally. Okay, yeah, we did get the Falcon and the Burlack, but that's just... Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Here he comes. Oh. Round you go. Come on. Turn. You can see how lightweight the Falcon is because the back, with the winch attached, the back was just trying to straight line up. It was just spinning, whereas the Hummer's clearly heavier. Right, okay. And that's that done. And now we'll put your engine on. You coming? I can't quite tell if he's driving. Let's loosen up the winch. Oh no, he's not. He's not driving now. How peculiar! Come on. How about now? You gonna drive? You should be shortening that winch to me. I'm gonna have to pull him the whole way. I really wish Saber would fix m these little quality of life bugs before moving on to a new region. Poor little Falk, I've got my foot to the floor. He's having nothing, he's not really getting up to much speed. I'm glad it's mostly downhill. Funny thing was, when I first attached the winch and put the fuel in him, he did want to move. I definitely think I'm just pulling him. He's not putting any effort in whatsoever. A wee bit faster since it's downhill. And now I'm hoping I'm going the right way. Fairly sure this was the main road we had to take down it, and then when we get to the town, we have to decide whether we're going left or right. Eve, come on. Oh, I'm slowing down, slowing down. Back wheel spinning. All wheels are spinning. Right. Let's just reconnect that side now. Are you going to drive? I'm just trying anything. Are you driving? I can't quite tell. That almost seemed a little easier, but it could be the placebo effect. Right, 
This is the town. There's the, the arrow for the drop off. I think I wish to go right was the shorter of the two. But I'm quickly before I commit to this. Look at the map. Where are you? Down there. See, I could probably go through here. But I'm thinking if I go along the main road and then turn left of that sideboard trailer and down this road might be a better road. I can't remember how bad that one. We've got the Royal BM there, should we need assistance? So maybe, nah, maybe we will take the direct route. If we get stuck, the Royal BM can come and assist. So we're going in. It's round the back of there and we're looking for that road there down to the bottom and then it's I don't know where the roads go here is it in here and round the back okay come on I don't know why but he certainly feels like he's actually driving now the Hummer He is definitely putting power to his wheels. Hello, BM. There's no way I'd be going this fast if he wasn't powering. should have maybe considered stealing some fuel out of the Royal BM, but we'll, it's, it's only just down there, we'll be fine, it's just, I don't want to get stranded down there. That's the kind of stuff that would happen to me, and I'd have to rescue him. And now we're lacking 43 layers of fuel, we are down. Come on, last muddy little section. There's a drop off point right there. And round we go. Not to drive onto the pathway. Oh, he's out of fuel. Ah. There we go. Yay! Let's quickly park up off his pathway. Engine off. Right, that's a lost car done. Excellent. Thanks for the help. At least no one got hurt. Here's your reward. Thank you very much. 8,000 for that. 650 XP. Brilliant. Job done. And again, I don't know where the blue boxes were coming into that task, as if maybe the Hummer was not available on the map until you'd visited the other two, perhaps. But it was just a choice of all three, and you had to drive to all three to figure out where the last one was. Right, I'm going to leave them here, actually. There's a good chance, where's... Uh, from here... Possibly maybe take him up to the repair station again. I don't know how much more real... Well, in fact, we've got a little bit of exploration to do over there. Okay. That's fine. Right. Um, next job, since we have a bit of time. What should we do? Now, we could continue exploration since, as we are in the Falcon. Because there's no other... Any other job I think is going to be quite big and take up a little bit more time. All we need is a bit of fuel. So where's the nearest fuel place? Um... We've got trucks that we could drive over to the Falcon and give them some fuel. And I did think to maybe drop off a fuel trailer at this um, repair station. But I ain't got around to that yet. Quick check. Scout fuel carrier. Where are you? So you're just here. But you're just here on the wrong side of the water. 
horse. Uh, any more? Scout fuel service scout. That's also nearby. Ooh. Okay. That's not too far away. I've also got the bandit, but he's probably going to need fuel as well. He's down to 79. Still got 150 on the roof, though. Right, maybe we'll do that. Uh, where? There's a crossing right here at the element of water. And I think that's probably where we'll go into this darkened area. And we'll activate that. Okay. We have a little bit of a plan. So we're going all the way up to the main road. This is where you guys say, well, why didn't you look at that scout fuel trailer or that? Because you seem to spot things a lot better than I do. However, we're going there and then we're going to cross into the darkness there. And oh, no, well, I was going to go all up there, wasn't I? I'm even now missing out what I said I was going to do. It's not far. We've also got a scout fuel carrier there with 62. Yeah, let's do that. So up to there, all the way up to there. And then back down again. We'll come onto the railway. Let's make it a little bit more exciting. And then along to here. Right, okay. And it's getting dark already. A nice sunset. I'm trashing your road verges, but you know, they ain't exactly the best anyway. It's going to get dark. Let's get it around to the afternoon again. Park up here so I'm not in the way. It's a bit brighter. At some point I will need to fix that yard and it's scout trailer ignore that task up in the top right corner nothing to do with what we're doing just now nothing whatsoever this thing can tip over especially things like roof racks obviously increase the center or raise the center of gravity which is not ideal but it's almost like an essential part of your customization because you do want the extra fuel and repair parts especially when you're out going off into the unknown so you just have to drive accordingly which is easier said than done for me but the point is having an autonomous winch does not get you completely out of trouble because you need somewhere to winch to and sometimes that's not always the case and then you still need a rescue which is not good right, I've missed out a waypoint already is it up here for that scout? no it's, for, it's up here it's in this industrial bit that's right, I remember Take it and the roof rack. Now, some of you may say, Why don't I just attach it? But I can't, not in the Falcon, not with that rear tire on there. No, no can do. Let's now quickly readjust my waypoints that are all over the place. That one, that one there, that's better. All right, let's go. Mm. 
need to try and get the all-wheel drive off as much as possible just to try and save that fuel this thing is a little bit thirsty on the railway tracks there we go right all-wheel drive off again like I always say not recommended driving on railway tracks try and get off yeah can't get off long that's not good if a train starts coming towards me. There we go. Oh, oops, big stone. Right, where's this little roadway down? It certainly implied there was tracks. I thought I'd see something. Oh, there they are, up there. That's where they are. My waypoint. Follow the waypoints. Come on. I didn't think that was so muddy there. That's what I was looking for. Oof. Okay, that's horrible. No wonder they left a tree there. You're gonna possibly need it. Look at the horizon, anything lying down here? Don't see any. Oh, what's that over there? Is that? I says bushes or something. Oh, yeah. Now that the graphics have caught up, it was just a bush I was seeing right there. I see a trailer on its side. I slot the uh, sideboard. Sideboard? Yeah. Oh, and some lost um, cargo. Oopsie. That bed semi trailer. Right. Hey, what's this? The element of water. Yes. It's a mighty river, all right. I was unlucky enough to face its current while transporting the shipment. Please help me recover the Coloss cargo. I promise to make it up to you. 4,350 cash, 480 XP. So I may as well just activate it over here. And it's four service spare parts. Oh. Oh, they washed way down river. Okay, close that. Matt. Oh, that's a cheeky last one down there, isn't it? Both sides of the river. Okay. And does that mean we have to use his trailer? What do we get from that? Uh, sorry, 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 sorry. Element of water. You don't even get the trailer at the end of that. Okay. And they're to go up to the train station unloading area. Well, maybe the first three are easy enough. This last one, what a pain. Hmm, how do you get to that? Maybe cut through here, back onto this road and go all the way north and try and cross here to go back to the train station. Yeah, maybe. But if you're coming from down here with a truck that you happen to have, just do it in reverse. Yeah, that might work. But anyway, we're going across to the other side somehow, over there. And we're going to go up to the missing movie props. So, that looks like we're taking this northwesterly route all the way around about this road junction here. So, oh, I don't see anything possibly down here. Might well be. You never know.
He drives like what I do. Look at that trailer. Just, yeah, it's in the water. Ditch it. Leave it for somebody else to worry about. This road going to be like? Is it going to be a nightmare? Kind of road. Oh, that's a nasty look. I didn't even see that. Right in the middle of the road. Who put that there? Yeah, kind of route you don't want to be bringing a truck. Is this scout only suitable? Really get rid of that task. I'm going to see if those yellow boxes for the rest of this. Let's get rid of it. Stop tracking and take me back to me, please. Thank you. That's better. But I, I'm not looking at anything specific. I'm just looking at the scenery. <laughs> You see, you drive past these things and you're like, you're looking but not seeing. Can't see the trees for the forest and all that jazz. But yeah, it's just they put a lot of effort in. I like to see the attention to detail. How realistic it is. And this is pretty good. This is going to be super mad. Nope. You know, right considering I haven't taken him out of automatic there. There's another wee road over there. Is that a crossing? Possibly. Yeah, it must be. There's there's tracks down to it. Okay. Is that us already at the waypoint that I put down? Must be. This is I thought I was looking for a more Oh look at that up ahead. That looks bad. That's an insurance job, that. The missing... Well, I found missing movie props, I think. Oh, yeah. Let's... Let's... Yeah. Let's go and have a look. Oh, dear. Oh, someone's not going to be popular. And it's not me for a change. Oh. 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 Unfortunately, I don't think the Falcon's going to be strong enough to help with this one. What does that say? Let's put the engine off. Hold on. Will it go off? Yeah. We're in urgent need of some junk for filming. On top of that, our drive got stuck in the middle of nowhere and knocked over that trailer we really need. Bring it all here and the reward is yours. Oh, I was going to get a truck there. Flatbed semi-trailer. We'll accept that. Let's have a wee look, see what's involved here. Oh, that's going to be a... There's stuff over there. I never noticed that. What is that? It is a... Wait, Basin Star? It's the only one I've just seen up here. I can't click on it. Come on. Okay. It's going to be awkward, aren't you? Click on something else. Now we'll... Uh... Oh, it's a Voron AE! Nice truck, so we don't get to keep it. Hold on a sec. That's letting me jump into it. Is that... Is that now ours? No way! Is that what that said? We can... Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's... Before I make... Assumptions here. Missing movie props. There it is down there. On top of that, I'll drag it down there. Bring it all here and the reward is yours. But the reward doesn't say anything about getting a vote on. That's quite a task. Where's the movie set? Down there. Okay. It does look like this road's going to continue, but what's tucked in behind here? Maybe some rock falls, who knows? But we'll continue with the Falcon down here just to see if this road is passable. But now I'm seriously curious. We've got bricks, cellulose, and two cement. 
What's the flatbed? Right, okay. Don't tell me, is this where we get to drive the Voron and the Voron will disappear out from underneath us? I mean, I can't do anything with that, so we need to go back into the Falcon. And are we even going to be close to pulling that onto its wheels? I suspect not. Oh, oh, maybe. Actually, hold on, hold on. I've got a better idea. Before we pull it over too far, these wheels get stuck there. Change truck. Let's detach the trailer. Oh, it's already detached. Oh, I thought it was attached. Yeah, that made no difference. But anyway, looking at that, he's got a little bit of fuel. He's got a damaged gearbox, but everything else should imply he will drive. Change the truck back to the Falcon. Yeah, this is where we needed something a little bit stronger. Come on, now he's just going to pull me back. Oh no, he's going. There we go. Yeah. Well done, Falcon. Did not expect that. And it's getting night time again already. Let's park him here. And you know, can I reach him here with a change truck? Thank you. Now these tires do not look particularly grippy. Which is not ideal. We do have a crane. Oh, I never really noticed that. I didn't expect him to get on his wheels. What's the easiest way? Go forwards and up onto the road. Pull the trailer back. Oh. Go for on. Decent. Oh, top very gear. Look at that. Well, I did not expect to be doing this at the end of my... Uh, episode but the downside is you're going to have to come back because we're going to do it in the next one we're going to see how we go on at least I hope you enjoyed this a little bit more exploration we got the Hummer dropped off and stuff I, it was pretty good I enjoyed it a little, and getting back in the Falcons always uh, enjoyable guys thank you so much for watching you'll see me again soon bye for now